Hello. This video is about recording the screen of, uh, of FGO with FG working on Android 30. Here you can see if you go to more options and advanced, then record screen is disabled. You can't enable it because Android 13 has a bug where you can't record the screen while taking screenshots. With Android 12 and below, you should use this option record screen to, uh, to record the screen. But on 13 and above, you'll need a PC to record the video for you. So that's what I'm uh, gonna show you how to do today. First of all, uh, all go to your settings and uh, scroll down, go to about device, scroll down, go to version and tap on build number seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I have to put in my uh, pattern to unlock and it's enabled. So I go back to the settings and now here in additional settings, a developer options um, entry appeared. Then I have to enable USB debugging. And now you can connect your Windows PC with your phone with a USB cable. So now it asks, do you want to charge a file transfer or use file transfer? And do you want to allow USB debugging? And I have to choose always allow and allow. So it doesn't ask you every time. And now the part on the phone is completed. We can continue on the PC. First, we need two applications. One is called source copy. The other one is called GUI source copy. I'll link them both in the description below. And so you have to download this Win64 zip file. And go to GUI source copy and um, pick this assets and download this PyQt5x64exe. In the meantime, while it's downloading, I'm going to the downloads folder and I open the zip file and copy this folder to C. It doesn't really matter where you put it, I just put it here so I can find it easily. And I go back to downloads and I also copy this exe file to the source copy directory. Now I can start it. It asks me, do you really want to uh, run this? Because it might be a virus, so I click yes, run anyway. And now it asks me to select a source copy server, which is located right here. And now I usually disable the swipe panel because it's not needed and uh, we'll test this just with these settings, start source copy. And here's my screen. So now I open FGE. I go to more options, advanced and make sure that debug mode is enabled. It doesn't matter if root for screenshots is enabled or not. This is the important one, debug mode. This is enabled, okay, that's good. I go back, start service. And now it's time to record the run in FGO. Open FGO. Here's some previous screen from a run that I did. I click close. So now I uh, close this window because now I want to start recording. I close this window, check record screen. 
you shouldn't uh, switch from vertical to, to landscape mode while recording a screen because the video file gets messed up. But if you keep it in landscape, then it's all okay. Like when you have FGO open. I click so start source copy again. Now here's FGO. And I can click on run. Start the run. And I'm not interested in what's happening in the battle right now, just in the support selection, for example. So I'll stop this because that's enough for the demo purposes. And if I now close this window, then an mp4 file appeared here. I can open this mp4 file and it contains the one that I just did with the rectangles. These rectangles are the most important part of video recording FGE. And now I can take this mp4 file, I can upload it to YouTube or to Discord um, or to GitHub, um, whatever you you need because with big file, uh, big video files, you can't upload it to Discord without Nitro. So you can go to streamable.com, for example, and then vi upload video for free. I can go to C, source copy, choose this MP4 file. Now it's uploading and I can copy this link and share it anywhere I want with the people working on FJ and hopefully they'll be able to fix or find your issue. That's everything in this video and um, if you encounter any issues please respond in the comments below. But yeah, bye.